Okay, so on these canisters, I've used um, copper adventuring on the lid and black ice around the edge. And I've got my application quite heavy on this piece here. So the glaze is run down, but it's given this beautiful green um, effect, which is, I think, is just absolutely stunning. And the design work is done with the Mako silk screens, just using the black and the silk screen media, and then just joining all the silk screens together, which was um, took a lot of time, but really good fun and really effective. Um, these canisters come with a seal in the lid now, so it makes them um, almost airtight. Also, we have been playing with a new shape, which is, um, uh, I think, quite lovely. And we've used the Mako stencils and just sponged some colour through the stencil there, which I think is a beautiful finish. This piece has also been using the rubber stamps from Mako and the silk screens from Mako and then some banded some colour on the inside and um, just played with lots of different textures. Just really good fun. Um, this is using the Mako Crackle Glaze as the background, but also use the silk screens for the feather effect. Put clear glaze over the top and then wax over the top of that. And then I was able to paint my Crackle Glaze over the entire piece. And then on the inside, I've used um, the Element 127, which I think is rose quartz. Um, and I just love, I love this piece. It's so chunky and it allows you to play with elements and crackle glazes without fear of pieces cracking. These pieces have got elements on them. It's a beautiful glaze on the inside, um, slate, EL129, and then um, sea green and, uh, can't remember the other one, um, EL131 and EL130. Lovely pieces. When you fire these ones, um, I would dry foot it um, so that it's nice and so it doesn't have any issues of cracking. This piece also has the um, element slate on the on the outside of the piece and you can see through different applications um, how the glaze runs and then on the inside of the piece just use various different element glazes. Um, Element 129, 127, 126, 125, 121, also black ice and layer them up between um, white cascade. Actually took two firings to get the effect because it wasn't so great the first time round, but just stunning. And it's the thickness of the piece is just beautiful. Again, it allows you to do these uh, glaze combinations without fear the piece cracking. If your piece was this sort of thickness, you really wouldn't be able to get away with that sort of thing. Um, just a topical piece at the moment to go out with the current film with Charlie Brown. And then I made these for my daughter who's struggling with her times tables at the moment. So I made especially for Amy um, seven times table mug and an eight times table mug with the Hobby Colorabia, um, very dust blue glaze on the inside. That's me done.